Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum students. I hope you are here and hearty and enjoying the joke and enjoy the conditions of your life. Students, today we are going to talk about the first chapter of the part 1, FSC part 1, that is the stoichiometry. And we will going to revise the whole chapter just in few minutes. We will talk about the most important topics and tricks and techniques of that chapter. And this is for the repeaters. So keep in touch and enjoy this video. So as like, first of all, this is the stoichiometry. First of all, we would, we would uh, uh, define this stoichiometry. This uh, the stoichiometry is the branch of chemistry. which deals with study of balanced chemical equation. So in this case, we will see this the balanced chemical equation. So we have the example of N2 plus H2 which give ammonia that is 2NH3 in this case this reaction is not balanced so this is not a stoichiometric equation so we would like to put this 3 so this is now the stoichiometric equation so in the first case this was the definition now the topic we are going to discuss here is the convergence convergence we will talk about the mole mole conversion Mole mole conversion, mole mass conversion, and volume conversions, and their interconversion. So, again, I am talking about uh, those students who do not understand my voice. I would advise them to slow down my voice. This, as you can see in the music player, there is the uh, option to increase speed or decrease speed up because this is a video for the repeaters and quick revision zero time revision we call so in this case we will talk about a more more conversion more mass conversion the volume conversion so in the first case let's we were talking about we have the 20 gram of 20 gram of carbon dioxide okay so first of all let's uh, first of all let's take a simple example 20 gram of carbon dioxide identify the volume occupied by this 20 gram so as you can see the molar mass of the carbon dioxide is 44 so 44 gram will occupy the 22.4 this is the molar volume and this is the molar mass so if 44 gram occupy this 22.4 volume then the 20 gram will occupy how much this is x and so we get the answer that x equals to 22.4 divided by 44 into 20 and keep this in mind that in questions we are not uh, supposed to solve the whole question but this is the general answer that they need in the MCQ so this is the first so now if, if they ask that 20 gram of carbon dioxide contain how many moles of the carbon dioxide so in this case we can we know that the 44 gram contain one mole so the 20 gram will contain how moles how many moles so x is equal to 20 into 1 divided by 44 this is the valid answer for this question so in the next if we are talking about this is the mole moles the mole mass conversion so we are, uh, we are going to, to take another question similarly just we are talking about that 360 gram of water contain how many moles of water identify the moles in the volume occupied by this okay so as just a simple question in a few seconds we can solve this as the 18 grams contain how many moles one moles the 18 grams contain how many volume 22.4 so if 18 gram contain 33.6 18 grams contain one mole then the 
360 gram, gram contains how many moles so x equals to 18 sorry 360 into 1 divided by 18 this is the valid answer so in this case as you can see 18 gram contain 22.4 then the 36 gram contain how many volume the volume occupied by 36 gram of water will be x equal to 22.4 into 2 into 36 360 divided by 18 again this is a quick revision so those students who are the fresh students uh, we are arranged those uh, complete concept questions and complete uh, concept lecture for them I recommend them to uh, uh, watch do, uh, those lectures so here we will gonna to talk about uh, this and this uh, another question is the SO2 so as you can see the molar mass of SO2 is equal to 32 plus uh, 32 and uh, 16 into 2 is equal to 32 this give us 64 so if if you are asked that identify identify the volume occupied by one sorry this is a uh, let's suppose uh, 350 gram of SO2 and similarly identify the moles so not uh, near in full just that great uh, manner so this uh, in we can solve this in just in few seconds by solving this method so as you can see in the 64 gram contain uh, 22.4 volume uh, the volume occupied by 64 gram is equal to 22.4 so the volume occupied by 350 will equals to x so x equals to 350 into 22.4 divided by 62 this is the 64 this is the answer and similarly the volume the moles of this uh, this grams of SO2 equals to as you can see 64 gram equals to 1 mole so so in the 350 grams x x equals to 350 into 1 divided by 64 so in this lecture we, are, we talked about this conversion in the next lecture if a uh, time because the uploading system is quite difficult because of network problem so this is the uh, conversion factor in next lecture we are going in the same tricks just in as in a few seconds about the percentage compositions and similarly for the what is the next topic that is the limiting the action regions so to keep in uh, to watch this more so please click the subscribe button so you can get a uh, notification when i upload the next video if this is a helpful please let me know in the comment section and if any problem any suggestion you wanna give me i uh, it will be it will elicit appreciation so let's talk about the first chapter of the chemistry 11th part one so please keep in touch and wish you best of luck